My name is Dijon Wilkinson. I am from Charleston, South Carolina. Hey, this is the day in the life of St. Augustine track and field. Home of the mighty Falcons. Our father, they call him Pup. But we know him as Coach, AKA George Williams. He's an Olympian. He's done many things. He knows what it takes to be the best of the best. So sit back, relax, take a seat. Cause we gonna watch how they track people eat. Speed, Jamaica. One day a guy, uh, Dr. Davis, Wally Davis, who was working here, the track coach left and asked me would I coach track for him. And I told him my full table is basketball, but if you want me to coach track, then I will coach track and field for you. And that's how I got started. And once I got the job, and I started doing things with it, and I started figuring out workouts for them. How did you coach track and field so successfully? All sports are alike, and no sports are different. You either gotta have people who can run track, people who play basketball, people who play football. You don't want a football player thinking he's a track guy. So you don't want a basketball player who thinks he's a track guy. You want a track person who might play basketball or, run, or play football. And so I went and got track people, people who run track. How were you introduced to coach? Uh, man, it was, what, 2009, summer 2009, I was running at AAU Nationals. My coach, my coach from back home, he knew coach, and he seen me run, and he was like, I ain't have no scholarships, no nothing. I was waiting on my SAT scores and all that. Coach Williams came up to my coach, and he was like, I get him in school, and I talked to him next week. I was at St. All in school. Describe your growth since you've been here under coach. Then I won championships. I learned a lot from coach. Uh, it got me to the spot that I'm in now. I'm you know, just trying to get more wiser. And I seen Sonya Richards. You know, I trained with Bat sometimes. Uh, got to run against Tyson Gay, a world record holder. Straight Patois, no English. But, um, the one thing I learned from Coach Williams and coming to St. Always. It don't matter what you got, it don't matter where you at, it don't matter, you know what I'm saying? We go through so much struggles here, so much heartache, and still be able to go out every day and run hard. It really lets you know like nothing can stop you in the world except yourself. Like you was like, you the only person that can stop yourself. Coach taught me that. To get your job done, handle your business. That's it. It ain't gonna happen when you run like this. Oh, yeah. As long as you hurt me, I ain't hurt you. What's just right for me, might not be just right for you. What's just right for you, ain't never gonna be good enough for me because I'm always just here. I'm gonna hit you out every time. I hope you're taking this shit in. That's what's gonna happen when I ring. I'm not a practice champion. So when I go to competition, I go for me. Practice is hard, and then it's easy. I'm dying now, so we're gonna die at the, the trap meets. So guess what? Practice is the hardest thing. Winning is easy. My name is Rashawn Batman Jackson. I'm 2008 Olympic bronze medalist in the 4x400 hurdles, gold medal in the 4x4. I've been four times number one in the world. Um, I've been eight times U.S. champion. And what made me realize I'm gonna be a track athlete when I was a kid, I was eight years old running from pole to pole, childhood memories, and um, I tried to, I pursued it once I got 13 years old because I traveled all over the nation, um, competing against guys in Texas, California, and once I touched high school, I was one of the best in the nation. I was recruited by all the top schools in the nation, Baylor, LSUs, but I ended up considering going to South Carolina. Um, I stayed there for a semester, not really got along with the coach, and I went home and ended up going to St. Augustine's College, where I, I made my dream reality basically i came to st Aug. i didn't lose not one race i turned professional at 18 and from there my career took off and it's been an amazing ride um, i'm humble i'm blessed about everything i achieved as a professional athlete and i look forward to you know keep blossoming and doing better um, there's a lot of pressure that comes on with being a professional athlete you have to be sometimes the coach you gotta be the trainer you gotta be the agent you have to be everything and it's not like college where if you don't do well, you always have next year to come back. You have to do well now, because now this is your job, this is how you eat, this is how you have a place to sleep. So if you don't do well, all those things suffer. So there's a lot of pressure, but if you're one of those people, 
that performs well under pressure and really embraces pressure, then you will do well as a professional athlete. So the two kind of go hand in hand. Y'all ain't going to beat nobody. Y'all can't even beat me. What advice would you give someone who's trying to make it to the next level? So you got to have a lot of discipline. You got to want to work hard. You have to know the game that you're in, and you got to put a lot of energy into it. It's, it's no easy way. All you have to do is look at the time and the distance or whatever they're doing at the next level, and you have to push yourself. And if you don't push yourself, then you're not going to make it. Everybody who makes the next level is not the people all the time with the best techniques, the best mechanics, or the best athletes. It's the one that persevere and endure the most and work the hardest. And I'm over six or 700 All-Americans and, and over 800, 900 student graduate uh, college. So it's, 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 it's something you have to figure out and you have to work with people and you have to have a good relationship with people. I think champions are made, they're not born. Nobody's born as a winner, nobody's born as a loser. Oh, I've pushed all of them, from Carl Lewis to Michael Johnson to uh, Jesus Christ, a whole lot of them. How would you describe the Olympic atmosphere? Well, it's, it's, it's the world together. It's, it's a beautiful atmosphere. Can you imagine the whole world is in one place at Harmony? From tour to end it. From end to tour. Like when I was the head of Olympic coach in Greece, I gave away about maybe 500 pairs of shoes to third world countries, you know, just wow. the love and stuff.